Thank you all for making the time to join tonight and talk about spring cleaning. Here we go with our Thieves Cleaner and all the amazing products. I'm going to go through the class now. It's 30 minutes long. And if you have any questions, feel free to type it in the chat. If I don't have time to go over today, I will get back to you. So just make sure you let me know your full name, your email address, and whether or not you are a member. So I can go ahead and get you some follow-up information. And um, now let's get started on our class today about a healthy home. Alrighty, so here we go. This is our, what is this? The fifth of six classes for our series. So we already did a getting started with your kit. We spoke about essential oils and CBD. Young Living's business opportunity. Last week we did make over your medicine cabinet and today we're gonna do, <clears throat> sorry, essential oils in a healthy home. And next week we're doing essential oils and pets. So be sure to join us. Okay, so talking about all things healthy home because you're about to learn a lot about the chemicals and such that exist in a bunch of products that we, a lot of us are still using. So the overview for today, I'm going to talk about who I am, what essential oils are, how they work, why it's important to detox your home, how to detox your home, specific applications and recipes, and then we'll go through a quick recap and talk about what's next. All right, so for those who are joining us for the first time ever, my name is Jade Almale, and I'm here because I'm so passionate about empowering people to learn about a healthier lifestyle, both with the products that they're using and the things that they might be taking internally to help with whatever potential sickness, um, disease, prevention, all the rest of it, to actually be aware and to hopefully make some you know, educated choices on that. A quick little note, I'm not a doctor. I'm not, intent, like I'm not here to diagnose anything for anyone to do. I'm just sharing what I use and what I do and what I personally have become aware of. So chemicals, um, they are in our cleaning products and they are some of the most toxic and harmful to the body, the ones that we find in our cleaning products. So this class tonight was designed specifically to empower each of you with the knowledge to live a more chemical-free lifestyle and to learn about the amazing benefits of Thieves products. I'm really passionate about sharing this with you and honestly, thank you for being on this wellness journey with me and my team. So before we get started, the first thing I like to really go through is what are essential oils? Because we're using them, we're you know using them on our bodies internally, we're using them topically, of course, doing things very safely. This is so important. And this is why hopefully, you know, you have your oily guru or the person who introduced you to Young Living who is helping you. If you're not yet a member, then this is a referral based business. So someone is going to help you and get you started on your journey. So essential oils are the lifeblood of a plant. Its job and goal is to protect and strengthen a plant. Each essential oil is really unique and it has a volatile fluid in there. So they're adaptogenic, they're all antiviral, antifungal, antiseptic, and antibacterial. Pretty impressive. Then they are extracted from all different parts of the plant. Of course, Young Living does its due diligence and finds the most nutrient dense or nutrient rich part of the plant and will extract it from there. So it could come from the roots, the leaves, the box, or the seeds. We use low heat, steam distillation, or resin tapping, just depending on where we're getting it from. So essential oils are tiny in size. Each one has 40 million trillion molecules in just one drop. That's insane. So they're extremely concentrated and they are 70 times stronger than the average herbs you'll find in your garden. So how quickly do essential oils work? Well, in 22 seconds, the molecules reach the brain. That's amazing because a lot of chemicals or drugs that or medicines that people might take actually cannot cross the blood brain barrier and that is because those molecules are just too big but essential oils are small enough that they can so in two minutes they would be found in the bloodstream in 20 minutes they'll affect every cell in the body and they are very mighty so because of their tiny size and our inherent human receptors it makes it the perfect natural medicine for us. So we believe in 
three methods of use. So Young Living follows the French method, and I'm not going to get into all the details of this, but the French method says that using these essential oils, of course, safely and with precaution, we can use them aromatically with a diffuser, and you do want to use a good quality diffuser. All of ours are. They are medical grade plastic, and that's important. Otherwise, we are leaching toxins and BPA and all different, you know, hard things out of that actual diffuser and then putting those petrochemicals in the air and breathing that in. That's not helpful. So you don't want to be using any random diffuser. You do want to be using a good quality one. So aromatic use, we also put a drop of essential oil we can in the palm of our hands and make an aroma dome and breathe that in. Then we can use these essential oils and we do use them topically. So we would make a roller. And of course, this is to help our essential oils last a lot longer, and especially for using it safely for little ones. So we do want to dilute the essential oils out. I've just told you how potent they are. So that's important. And finally, we do believe in using them internally when we use the Vitality oils, which are basically Young Living's, it's got a label and it's a white label. And at the moment, we're still working in South Africa for that licensing. So I'm here in the United States and can safely tell you that I use these essential oils in, internally and you just need to learn which ones are safe for internal use and why and how you are going to use them, then you are absolutely fine. So beyond organic cultivation processes, I want to talk to you a little bit about why Young Living, because I know there are so many brands right now and what is Young Living doing that is very different to what other companies out there are doing. So this is the first thing is that they go beyond organic cultivation processes. So they have native farming practices and over 25 years of experience, and they really believe in having positive energy, meaning everybody who works within the company, whether they are in the farms or they are in the labs, they really believe in putting a very good energy into what they're doing because they believe that there is a frequency that is felt. Energy is everything and everything is energy. And so these plants need to be almost nurtured and nursed with this good positive energy. And this is why your essential oil truly has, it comes not only from the best part of the plant in a one-time distillation, which we'll talk about in a second, but it actually truly has a lot of love that has gone into that bottle and it's been very, very carefully made to give you therapeutic benefits. So our harvesting and distillation practices, we believe in doing distillation at the correct time for things to be slow using low heat and one time distillation only. Almost every other essential oil company that there is out there is not doing a one time distillation. They're actually doing a fourth or fifth time distillation. And the best way to explain this is they're almost adding in water into that distillation process to water it down. And the reason they do this is because they can produce more. So it's just giving a mass supply. Young Living never compromises on quality. And this is why you might find that our pricing is appropriate to what went into getting you that bottle of oil. But the best part is they're so potent and so effective, you need to use very little. So it's a bit of a learning curve there. I used to use a lavender that had a dropper top. So now that I know what I know and I smell that lavender, it smells awful. It absolutely smells synthetic. Um, I use now three drops of lavender in my diffuser and it works. It actually works and it smells amazing. So just a little thing to kind of show and share with you guys. And then of course, Young Living has what they call their seed to seal quality commitment or their promise. So we are the only company that own our own farms. We're very transparent in what we do. You can visit any of the farms and I have been fortunate enough to visit at least three, if not more. Um, the Sandalwood Farm in Hawaii, the Lavender Farm in Utah in the United States. And um, I've been to another one and I'm totally black blanking on which one it was, but they are so passionate about what they do, literally from the farmers who talk to you about the plant that they are harvesting and working with and planting, and the seeds are non-GMO from the time that the seeds are chosen until the time that your essential oil is bottled and sealed, hence the term seed to seal, every single part of the process is very carefully managed, and again, every other essential oil company is outsourcing something. So either they're purchasing their peppermint from some other 
farm. Well, the trouble with that is you don't know what the practices are of that farm. So we own our own or we partner with farms, but we make sure that they are living up to and doing everything up to and according to our seed to seal quality commitment. So we have an open door policy. You can visit the farms, which I told you I have. And we do extensive in-house and external testing, which is so important. And with that, by the way, we do bring in third party testers because it would be biased if we were like, oh yes, this is a beautiful and brilliant and perfect bottle of lavender. And actually there isn't something in there that's right. So we do bring in third party testers to confirm and assure you that you are getting what you know Young Living is actually claiming for it to be. So toxins and cleaning your home. So here's the scoop on them. Why is it important to clean your home with natural ingredients? So most people assume that cleaning products on the grocery store shelves have been tested and are safe for us to use. However, very sad to tell you and to kind of burst your bubble, they are not. There is no person or department who is looking out for your greater good and saying, that is awful. Do not put that on the shelf. It has X, Y, Z ingredients. So we really have to be our own advocates for what we allow in and out of our home. We are gatekeepers. And I think that this is an important responsibility, not only if for ourselves, um, but for those of us that have families, this is really, really important that we are aware of what we are allowing into our homes and to be used and cleaned around us. So just because a commercial cleaner promises a germ-free environment, it doesn't mean it's danger and risk-free. Conventional cleaning products contain many endocrine disrupting chemicals that can wreak havoc on your respiratory system, cellular health, thyroid, adrenal glands, and even mental clarity. Indoor air quality, by the way, is five to seven times more toxic than outdoors. That is insane to me. That means that our inside our home is more toxic, and that is because people are using conventional cleaners. Okay, so something happens. A lot of people are like, well, you know, I only use this product, this bleach, or this whatever it is in my toilets, but I use a very natural floor cleaner. Well, I want to talk to you guys about something called bioaccumulation and what that is and how that works. So the EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Act, has stated that a small amount of chemicals are really not harmful to the body. However, a small amount of chemicals in your personal care products and cleaning products can really add up to a significant burden on your body, which is called body burden. So some chemicals accumulate in our bodies over time and impacts may show up after long exposure, like, sorry, after exposure to these. Some chemicals can become harmful or more toxic in combination with other chemicals and chemicals can have more impact during certain periods of development. Think of wombs, infancy, puberty, and really even tiny doses can be very potent. So now you kind of know a little bit about the bad stuff. The first thing I wanna mention is Everyone within Young Living, including myself, are non-judgmental. I just want to mention, I didn't know what I know now, and therefore I had tons of toxic cleaners and chemicals in my home thinking, oh, well, it's not bad, or oh, I have this thing that says scented with lavender. Well, now I've learned keywords like scented as, that's a problem. That means it's synthetic. That means that there is nothing natural or you know, organic in that product. It did not come from a lavender plant. So I feel like there are two types of people. There are the one type that's like horrified by what they learn and they start to read labels and like, oh my gosh, I cannot use this again because now I know. And we do have a kind of a phrase that says, no better, do better. So those types have collected all these bad chemicals and literally replaced um, everything. And we're going to talk about this with their thieves cleaner and made a spray and they use this for their whole house and for all the things, windows, floors, counters, everything. But that is the one type. The other type is, is more people that do things slowly and they say, okay, I'm gonna slowly change over my laundry detergent. I'm just gonna do that one step at a time. Next month, I will do my kitchen and I'll look at what I'm cleaning my dishes with and I'll look at what I'm cleaning you know, our hands with, what we're washing our hands with. Next month, I'm gonna focus on the all-purpose cleaner and start to look at what cleaners I'm using to clean the bathtub, to clean the shower, to clean the floors, and they do things slowly. You do what works for you. Another um, big misconception that people have is, oh my gosh, natural living or to choose healthier products is so much more expensive. 
that is a misconception, okay? One capful of this thieves cleaner makes, and we're gonna go over these statistics. So I will, I will tell you all of that properly in a little bit, but really it is not true. And we do like to say, would you rather invest in your health? Like either you're gonna pay the farmer or you're gonna pay the doctor. So it's kind of up to you what you want to invest in, even though truly it's not more expensive than conventional cleaners. And again, we're using much less of these products because they are so concentrated. So take a deep breath. At first, it may seem impossible to have a chemical free home, but don't be overwhelmed. There are a few simple practical changes that can make a huge impact on your home. So you don't need to replace every single product in your home tomorrow, like I was explaining. You can do a transition slowly to a healthy plant-based lifestyle. It's up to you how you want to do it. So now that you know a little bit more, what can you do? The first step is become aware and understanding that there are many chemicals found in household products that can be harmful to your health. Seriously, just that first step is already amazing. The fact that you're here and you're listening to my class, you're doing great. Step two, focus on avoiding chemicals that you can control, like the products that you do choose to have in your home. Step three is educate yourself on ingredients and chemicals that you should avoid. I've learned a lot. I've learned things like SLS, um, SLSs, um, phthalates, all of these things, dyes, and now I know what to read in a label and what to look for. So when I see those things, I do not bring them into my home. So you do have to just become a little bit more aware. And step four is take action. You can start by replacing the products that you use most frequently, like your all-purpose cleaner and hand soap, and just slowly focus on replacing those used for those that are most susceptible, like children or people who already have compromised immune systems. So here are some of those ingredients that I told you I learned about, and I will share this. You will see the slide, so I'm not going to go through each one of these because we would literally be here forever, but I'll point out some of the few that I have learned that are super important because so many things have these. And um, so, yeah, we call this the dirty dozen. These are the main ones I want you to look, you know, be aware of. So SLS stands for sodium laureth sulfates. These are the things that make a product sud. So it makes it, you know, get all foamy and soapy. Though That's actually a toxin and you don't want to be using that. So there is a little bit of adjusting to something like our dish soap. You need to use very little of this and it actually is working to break down the grease. Um, but it's not going to get as sudsy as you are used to, but you don't want the suds. Okay, petroleum is a kind of gas. I always find it fascinating to me that I used to use Vaseline as an example on all things for my babies um, when I didn't know, but Vaseline is essentially petroleum jelly. So that is not really going to be helpful or good for us to use on our kids. Another big one I want to point out is parfum or perfume or fragrance. Anytime you see those words, very ridiculously so, companies started to claim that they wanted to have their secret ingredient. They didn't want to have anyone else be able to have the same smell as let's say, you know, in the United States, we have a product here called Febreze, which makes a room smell really nice. So they didn't want other people to know what they were putting in so that they couldn't go and compete and make the same product. So what are they allowed to do? They are allowed to list the word perfume. And that became a code word for, we're going to hide as many freaking chemicals as we like under the term perfume, because that is our company's secret recipe that nobody else can actually copy. Well, that for me is absolutely unethical. So anytime you see perfume, you need to know that that is a bright red code word for lots of toxins are hidden within this product. And sadly, perfume is also a toxin, by the way. So you can use essential oils to make yourself smell nice and it actually also uplifts your energy. So just something else to kind of note. But yes, perfume is um, a toxin. All right, so the impacts of those 12 ingredients that I just showed you, the main thing there is that there is no end to the tricks that the endocrine disruptors can play on our bodies. We have, this is what they mostly see, increasing production of hormones, a decreasing production of others, imitating hormones, turning one hormone into another, interfering with hormone signaling, telling cells to die prematurely. It competes with the essential nutrients. 
um, binds to essential hormones, accumulates in organs that produce hormones. So these are all the things that end endocrine disruptors cause. And as I said, any of those ingredients are endocrine disruptors. This is like big stuff, you guys. This is why you might notice, again, just a crazy concept, but think about how and why, you know, some girls even start puberty earlier. Well, why do you think? Why do you think that there's been such a change? It's not evolutionary. Sadly, it is, a lot of it is to do with chemicals that we're using. So anyway, why Young Living Thieves? Okay, so Young Living uses Thieves essential oil in all of the products. If you take a look, I'm not sure if you can actually see me, but everything says here, essential oil infused. So all of our products, even our makeup, makeup is also toxic and I'm, I cannot wait for the makeup to make it to South Africa. I'm using, I use it every day. Um, here's my lip gloss even, but it's all essential oil infused and is really good for us. So what we are cleaning in our homes, what we're putting on you know, around us on the floors and everything is actually got some amazing properties that are good for our immune system and such. So Young Living has a wide selection of safe, naturally derived plant-based products for the entire home. So we have everything from hand soap to laundry detergent, and you can really feel confident knowing that we don't use any harsh chemicals and the entire line is infused with Thieves essential oil blend. So you'll feel empowered knowing that the Thieves line is pure enough for your family and really still strong enough for your everyday life to really kill and annihilate germs and bacteria. So what is thieves? For those of you who are, again, new, you might be like, well, what is the thieves everyone talks about? Well, it was the name given to an oil blend, okay? And the blend actually has rosemary, clove, cinnamon, lemon, and, why am I and eucalyptus. So it's those five things. And here is the story behind thieves and why it got its name, because no, it's not named after a thief plant in nature. So it's a blend. And around the 16th century there was a group of or the 15th century there was a group of thieves and they were stealing clothing and jewelry from dead or dying bodies of the black plague or the bubonic plague you remember that time in history and they were not contracting this disease and they were not dying well of course the king heard about it it was a feudal system so the king heard about it and ordered for their capture and said I would punish you and sentence you to death, but if you can tell me what you are doing to stay alive and to be healthy and well during this time, and you're actually able to get away with stealing and you're not contracting this, then I will definitely give you a far less punishment. You will not die. So the thieves shared their secret and said, well, we come from a long line of apothecaries or, you know, we're spice merchants. And we know that when you blend those five things, lemon, rosemary, clove, cinnamon, and eucalyptus, and at that time, pestle and mortar, they would put like a balaclava, they, used, they probably looked like how we're all looking at the moment, um, and they rubbed it on their bodies, okay? So they put this concoction on their skin and on the balaclava, and they said, we do not contract this disease. Like, this is what's keeping us healthy. So the king was amused, said, show me, teach me. They did. And actually, they were the only surviving town within this time in history. So look it up. The town was called Buckleberry. You can look up the story behind thieves. It's a true story. And so Gary Young, our founder of Young Living, was so fascinated by this. He wanted to create this blend in an essential oil to give us the potency. Now, it's a proprietary blend. It's a formula that they have very carefully figured out how much to put of the rosemary, how much of the clove, how much of the lemon. So don't try and think, oh, let me go to the store and buy all five of those things and just recreate these. It doesn't work. Um, you need to have the correct stuff at the correct ratios, and you need to be using the highest quality essential oil, which we have. So it's awesome to know that that is what is put into all of these products. It's in our dish soap. It's in our cleaner. So all of these things are working to not only support our immune system, but to clean our home and fight bacteria and germs. So these are the essential oils that clean best in a home. Now, I know you can't get pine, and that's in my image over there, but you can use the following. Lemon purification, tea tree, thieves, and eucalyptus. They all work so well for any kind of cleaning. So you can actually add one or two of those drops in your laundry machine into the laundry detergent. You can add it 
into the floor cleaner that you're making if you're putting you know hot water and you want to put some of those essential oils together with the thieves multi-purpose cleaner to mop the floor and we're going to go through some of our um, recipes in a second so here is the entire home this is where you start so if you want to start using these products and you don't know where to start start with our thieves multi-purpose cleaner it's versatile effective affordable and you can clean your entire house with it countertops floors furniture even leather, windows, walls, in your oven, around your toilet, etc. So wherever you use it, you really will feel good knowing it's safe to use around everyone in your family, including pets. So many people don't think about our little animals with their paws walking on the floors and then they sit and they're licking their paws. Think about what you just cleaned your floor with and that your little pet is licking paws. Think about, and absorbing by the way, that's where they absorb everything. Think about your baby who might be crawling on the floor and then, you know, hands and mouths, right? Oral phase. So best of all, it's formulated without the harsh or dangerous chemicals found in many traditional clean, um, cleaning products. So we have done so many tests, by the way, on thieves. Some people are like, oh, I wanna actually see how it compares. And it is equal. And actually, it's better than how so many other products perform. So how do you use it? It's very concentrated. So with one bottle of Thieves Cleaner, you can make about 29 of these 500 ml spray bottles that you see here. So you can, if you do the math, sorry, it's about under 11 Rand 50 per spray bottle. So when people say, oh, it's so expensive to switch. Well, that's because they're thinking of the full cost of this product. but this right here, um, I you buy this every, depending on how big your home is, of course, but I buy this on average every three or four months. I think it's that. I think mine is even every six months. I'm not joking. I just know that that is not often on my essential rewards order because I'm using it a lot um, in these, but this lasts so long, okay? So we have some ratios for you as well. Light degreasing, you would do one cup of the cleaner with three cups of water. This is gonna be for mirrors, windows, and other delicate surfaces. Then you have the medium degreasing and the heavy degreasing. Then for some other tips and tricks, for a floor freshener, you can add tea tree essential oil. So if you have carpets, you can make a carpet powder and you mix the following. You have five drops of tea tree, three drops of lavender, and one cup of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda. Then you would mix it with a fork, by the way. And when you're mixing it, you wanna be using this in a ceramic bowl or a stainless steel bowl or a glass bowl. We never wanna use plastic because essential oils are going to leach the toxins out of the plastic, not good. So you're gonna mix it with a fork, then you can sprinkle it over the carpet, let it sit for 15 minutes and then vacuum away. By the way, brilliant to do as well if you have an animal that has peed somewhere or any kind of funky smell in carpet, you can just put it over there. So the Thieves dish soap, this is kind of going room by room now, ditching and switching our kitchen. So with this dish soap, you can know that you can clean with essential oils that are obviously in here that are leaving your dishes sparkling clean with no residue. Another kind of scary thought is we're eating off of the stuff that we're cleaning off of. So another thing to just think about. It's enhanced with jade lemon, bergamot, it has fresh citrus scent and it makes daily chores a little bit brighter. There's no sulfates, phosphates, dyes, or perfumes, and it's really gentle on your skin, which is also important. It won't over dry your hands. I don't know how many of you have felt that feeling of like tightness after doing the dishes. So you won't get that, which is nice. Then our laundry. So Thieves laundry soap can be used with all washing machines, including high efficiency ones, and it's highly concentrated. So I like to tell people when you buy it, pull half of it out and then into like a glass jar and you can just put a lid on it. And of course, when you get the next bottle of your laundry detergent, when that one finishes, keep that empty. And so then you can, you know, put your new one half into that bottle. Then you can add water halfway up and you can put in, if you have little ones and you have lots of stains, do one capful of the Thieves multi-purpose cleaner to remove stains into that whole bottle of laundry soap and you can give it a good shake and that is perfect so it's really concentrated again when people say oh it's a small bottle and it costs you know this amount when you do the maths it is not more than what you are spending already on laundry soap and you're getting natural amazing stuff that is really strong enough for tough stains and gentle enough for babies it's perfect for machine and hand washing and again a little idea is you can add one to two drops of purification essential oil to, with a capful of detergent to give your wash a great smelling boost. 
Okay, I'm sorry, this, this class, I definitely always have lots to share. So it's gonna go over by about five minutes. So just a quick reminder, if you haven't yet, please put in the chat your full name, your email address, and whether or not you are a member. So I can make sure to send you this recording so that you can get all of these recipes as well. All right, so room by room tips and tricks. This is now the room refresher spritz. So you can make your own air freshener by mixing the following in a glass spritzer bottle. This would be a 50 ml size. 10 drops of purification essential oil, two to three drops of any of your favorite essential oil. You can just choose by what smell you like. One cup of distilled water. Spray anywhere you want to remove offensive smells. So think bedroom or linen, bathrooms, kitchens, and you can substitute tea tree for purification if desired. Okay, mattress refresher. For those of you who have little ones who are learning toilet training, then this is going to be great for you. So for any accidents that you have, or for those of us with hormones and maybe are having night sweats, you need endoflex. But um, for that, you want to make a mattress refresher. And honestly, I like to just do this every so often in my house and I do it on all the mattresses. So you take one cup of bicarbonate of soda, five drops of purification, dump it into again that, that bowl that I told you about, then mix it with a fork, transfer it to a mason jar, one of those glass jars, give it another shake, sprinkle it on the mattress, leave it for about an hour and then vacuum it all up and you're good to go. So Thieves Dryer Balls, another really toxic product in our homes are softeners. Any kind of fabric softeners, terrible stuff. They are filled with chemicals and that is why they're so strong smelling. I remember when it was a trend to go and buy that fabric softener and throw it in your car because people like the smell of it. Well, it's really toxic. Instead, you should just consider some essential oils in a car diffuser, much healthier for us. And please get some drywall balls. You can get these apparently from Take A Lot and they're not that expensive. It comes, you know, you, you want to buy a few of these at a time, it ends up being cheaper. So you can purchase those, add two to four drops of any essential oil to the two dryer balls, throw it in your dryer. And my favorite choices are lavender for babies or citrus fresh lemon or lemongrass for adults and just for a nice refreshing scent. But any of those are gonna be safe for little ones too. Okay, the bathroom. So this is what's in our bathroom counters. We use this Thieves Cleansing Bar Soap. It's enriched with moisturizing plant oils. There's coconut hope hohuba, I know South Africans say jojuba, but it's really hohuba and olive oil. Aloe vera and wolfberry seed oil are also added to help cleanse and purify your skin. So it's perfect for your shower or your sinks. We also have a Thieves Foaming Hand Soap, here's mine. I love these for little ones as well, because I often find that when it's not foaming, that little glob of soap, they add water and the soap's gone. It just drops off their hand. So at least with the foaming, we get the soap everywhere. And of course, during this season, I mean, my kids have learned to do fingertips first and then, you know, foam and get the soap around the whole hands. So that's just a great way to, you know, really wash your hands well. All right, a toilet scrub. So here's what you do. You'd mix all these ingredients in a bowl, not your toilet bowl, separate to the toilet bowl, half a cup of baking soda, half a cup of Castile soap. And again, that was bicarbonate of soda. A squirt or two of Thieves dish soap, a capful of Thieves household cleaner, a cup of water, 10 drops of lemon, lemon essential oil, five drops of Thieves essential oil. Once it's all mixed up, you can put it in a 355 ml dispenser. And I love to use this. This is the Thieves dish soap. Once I'm done with this, I keep this bottle and I actually fill it with the toilet bowl cleaner because this spout is brilliant. You just pop it up and then you can squirt it under the toilet seat bowl. So I repurpose all of my um, bottles and things that I get from Young Living. So I really recommend you do that too. Shake it up because they will separate, by the way. All right, a toilet bowl spritz. This is just a nice way to make it clean and, re and refresh it. You'd put um, 15 drops of lemon, half a cup of rubbing alcohol, half a cup of distilled water, put it in a spritzer bottle, keep it handy to spray the toilets before to avoid smells from filling the room. And yep, you can thank us later. So that's a really nice way to get rid of room sprays because yes, they are very, very toxic. And by the way, so are candles. So we use diffusers instead that are good for us and we use sprays to make you know, environments smell cleaner and nicer. So what's in our bathroom counters? Some other stuff here. Thieves Aroma Bright Toothpaste. The awesome part about this is it's free of fluoride, dyes, synthetic perfumes, SLS, remember I told you about that one, sodium lauryl sulfate and synthetics such as triclosan. 
So there's also Thieves Dental Floss. I don't know if you guys know, but Dental Floss is also another big one that is oftentimes not biodegradable. So ours is biodegradable and normal floss is made with nylon, which is plastic, Teflon, petroleum, and dioxane. So we have strong fibers that resist fraying and they easily glide between your teeth. They're saturated twice. So it's a really hard wearing floss and provides two layers of essential oils with thieves and peppermint. It's eco-friendly and it decomposes, yay. We're all about being sustainable and good to our planet Earth. Of course, we have Thieves mouthwash. I'm obsessed with this mouthwash. It took me some adjusting because I absolutely used to use other brands, um, Listerine. But anyway, now I am literally obsessed with this. We were actually swimming in a public pool the other day and it turns out that some kid had thrown up and they cleared the whole pool area and I'm not joking, of course, I took my kids and I went and I showered them with all of our stuff and I made all of them but all of them, both of them use the thieves mouthwash to just rinse out their mouth and goggle. This is such a good mouthwash for anyone who also gets ulcers or any kind of you know, potential sores or anything happening in their mouth. This is gonna clear any bacteria. So it's so great. And we all felt very clean. No one got sick, of course, luckily, after that experience. All right, so on the move, when we are on the go at the moment to go to the grocery store, that's about all we're getting to. But slowly but surely, we're seeing friends and such. Um, here is what we like to have. We have a Thieves spray. I would show you mine, but I've just given it to my daughter whose school started today. And the Thieves waterless hand purifier. I have both. I love both. The Thieves spray I will use on my hands. I actually also use it as a throat spray. It's not labeled as such, but it's non-toxic. And I'm telling you, it works brilliantly. So if you feel a scratchy throat, it's a great one. The waterless hand purifier is more like a gel. It feels amazing. And my one daughter actually prefers that and the other prefers the spray. So they each got that and that's how they've gone off to school. And at least I know that they're not having, you know, any other toxic stuff. I've seen so many pictures of hands looking bloody and bruised from how bad the sanitizers are and how strong, you know, the alcohol in them is, which is not really awesome for us. So when you clean a surface with soap and water, the ingredients of most products only partially wash off. And when you use hand purifiers, or cleaning sprays, the ingredients in them will also absorb into your skin. So we promise you'll feel protected like we do. And a fun fact is the hand purifier moisturizers, which is awesome. It keeps your hands feeling soft. So here is one of our best bundles. We have a thieves kit. It's valued at 1,980 Rand and you can get it for 1,475 Rand. Um, it has 100 PB, that's Young Living's currency. So anyone who's not yet a member and you actually would like to get started with cleaning your home first because it is spring cleaning time, this is such a great bundle. And the awesome thing is you can actually buy this outside. And once you are already a member, you can get the Thieves Kit. Actually, I think this one is just the enrollment one. I needed to, no, it is. You can get it as a quick order as well and on essential rewards. So yep, it's available to all. I have purchased this for my family two or three times. I've actually added that as my essential rewards order, which is our monthly wellness customizable box, which is optional for people, but I love it because I get points back. I get cheaper shipping. It just makes total sense. And I get all these beautiful, amazing products and I'm getting store credit to use later on. So I get to choose other oils and other products that I want to try. So I get this a few times um, in a year and I get all, you know, I get all these, these beautiful products and I, I use them in my house, of course. So our resources for you, I'm finally at the end of our class and thank you guys for being super patient. We have a WhatsApp group. So if you are not yet part of a team, make sure to refer back to the person who invited you to this class today. They would love to help you get started. If you don't have that person, please reach out to me. My information is at the beginning of the chat. And my name is Jade, which I said, and I can help you out. And in our WhatsApp groups, you'll get relevant oily tips, you'll get recipes, resources, and we honestly have a beautiful community of oilers. And then we have an Instagram page, which is at hello.essentials.south.africa. And we do, we do like to give you some ideas and tips and ways to use your product. And we have a whole team of so many amazing oilers now who can also help you and will share all of their resources with you. We have a Facebook page as well. We have a Hello Essential South Africa one, which is local to South Africans. And then we have a global one, which is about 35,000 people in there. 
and they talk about oily stuff all the time. So there's recipes, you can go in and search things. So you need to be invited to that group. Um, that is so that, you know, someone is, is accountable for you and can help you.